But if you don't, then you might be able to go back and amend uh, the tax return, noting that there could be a statute of limitations or a time frame in which you have to make sure to do that, after which point you might be limited to be able to change it and noting that depreciation is basically like an accounting method. So you're kind of locked into it. So if you're, if you're taking a maker's depreciation half year convention and you took a 179 deduction, then it's going you're basically locked into it for the life of the depreciable property. It's going to be depreciated the same way because we need consistency typically for accounting, which is reflected in the tax code. So an election made on an amended return must specify the item of section 179 property to which the election applies and the part of the cost of each, each such item to be taken into account. So we said that there's a cap on the 179 deduction. So if you can't apply the 179, of course, to all the property, then you're gonna have to tell the IRS which property the 179 is being applied to. The amended return must also include any resulting adjustments to taxable income. Election for qualified section 179 real property. You can elect to ex uh, expense certain qualified real property that you placed in service as section 179 property for tax years beginning in 2023. For more information, you can see the election above. Also, see revenue procedure 2019-8 on page 347 of Internal Revenue Bulletin 2019-3. It's available on the IRS website. 